Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. It's me, Dr. V. Jay Kumar. I am making lecture videos for the benefit of mechanical engineering students. If this is your first time or not yet subscribed to the channel yet, please press the subscribe button and also the notification bell icon so that to get notified all my forthcoming brand new videos. Now let's get started with the today's topic. In this video, we shall discuss the basic concept of kinematic links and their types, which is very important to the study of mechanisms and machines. To start with, the difference between rigid and resistant bodies will be discussed, followed by the concepts of kinematic links and the classification of them will be presented. Thorough understanding of the following kinematic nomenclature is very essential for the study of kinematics of machines. If you consider machine as a building block game, kinematic link forms the basic building block. Links are made up of rigid or resistant bodies. Assembly of two links will form a kinematic pair. An assemblage of kinematic pairs will form kinematic chain. If at least one link of the kinematic chain is fixed, we will obtain mechanism. One or more mechanisms will form machine in order to transmit and modify both motion and forces. In this video, we will discuss about kinematic link. A kinematic link must be a resistant body. So first let us understand the difference between deformable, rigid and resistant bodies. If a body when subjected to the action of external forces, if it undergoes the deformation, that is there is a change in size and shape, we call it as a deformable body. The study of deformable body is what is covered under strength of materials. If body under the action of forces, it does not undergo any deformation or the distance between any two points on the body remains constant, even after the application of the forces, then we can call that body as a rigid body. Resistant bodies, also known as semi-rigid bodies, are flexible. They will undergo partial deformation, but it does not affect the transmission of motion in any way. So the resistant bodies can be assumed as good as rigid for the purpose of study. Let us present a few practical examples to understand the concepts better. The deflection of a beam or deflection of a spring when they are subjected to external forces are examples of deformable bodies. In an IC engine, the piston, connecting rod, crank, cylinder, all are examples of rigid body because they do not deform when external forces are acting on them. In belt and chain drives, belt and chain are deformed considerably while transmitting motion but deformation has no effect on the transmission of motion so they are examples of resistant bodies now let us understand the meaning of a kinematic link kinematic link is also known as simply a link or an element a kinematic link is a member or a combination of members of a mechanism connecting other members and having relative motion between them. Or in other words, the two essential characteristics of any kinematic link are the link should have a relative motion and it must be a resistant body. Take example there. Link 1 and 2 should have relative motion between them. Assume that both link 1 and 2 are fixed, then either link 1 or link 2 cannot be called as a kinematic link. So there must be a relative motion between the connecting members. Let us understand the concept with a typical practical example. Take a tractor front end loader. Here the bucket, the cylinder actuators, and various links, brackets, few of them will be moving, few of them will be fixed, all are kinematic links. 
in fact kinematic links and joints are the basic building blocks of any mechanism let us consider another example take an ic engine we know the various components of ic engine so to better understand that a line sketch indicating various links are shown here as you could see the various fixed members such as cylinder and the frame are considered as link one since the crank has a relative motion with respect to the fixed link we can call crank as a link two then connecting rod is the link three because it has relative motion with respect to the crank then piston or slider is a link four ends the slider crank mechanism as four links types of kinematic links there are three types of links namely rigid link flexible link and fluid link first let us take a rigid link rigid link does not undergo any deformation while transmitting motion as discussed already piston connecting rod crank cylinder all are examples of rigid links the second one is flexible link this link is partly deformed in such a way that it does not affect the transmission of motion as already discussed belt and chain are partly deformed and ends they are typical examples of flexible links finally the third type is fluid link fluids used in some applications such as hydraulic presses hydraulic jacks hydraulic cranes act as link this link transmit motion by fluid pressure or compression such links are known as fluid links kinematic links are also classified depending on the end joints as binary links ternary links and quaternary links binary link contains two end joints whereas ternary link contains three joints as shown quaternary link contains four end joints also known as nodes that's it the key takeaways of this video are summarized here which would be useful from both subject and examination point of view hope you found this lecture video very useful if so please support the work by liking this video sharing it to your friends and subscribing the channel finally by hitting the notification bell icon that's it thanks for watching take care bye